Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Trading Tutor channel. If you'd like to create a free DMAT account with Alice Blue, click the link in the description and fill out your details. You'll also get intraday recommendation calls and you can learn robo trading software for free. Now let's look at the efficient market theory. So what is the efficient market theory, which is also known as the random walk theory. So Morris Kendall found that stock prices follow a random walk, implying that successive price changes are independent of one another. A number of researchers have employed ingenious methods to test the randomness of stock price behavior. Academic researchers concluded that the randomness of stock prices was the result of an efficient market. So the efficiency of the random walk theory. Let's see market efficiency first. This is the accuracy and speed with which the market translates expectations of investors into prices. Next is operational efficiency. It's measured in terms of time taken to execute the orders and the number of bad deliveries. EMH does not consider this. Now, next is informational efficiency. Swiftness with which the market reacts to new information is the informational efficiency. New information from economic reports, company analysis, industry policy, political news, and so on. So when the market reacts to these new information instantly, this is where informational efficiency is in, comes to place. So let's look at the levels of efficiency. First is the weak form efficiency, then the semi-strong form efficiency, then the strong form efficiency. Weak efficiency or weak EMH claims that prices on traded assets for like stocks, bonds or property already reflect all past publicly available information. Semi-strong EMH claims both that prices reflect all publicly available information and that prices instantly change to reflect new public information. Strong EMH additionally claims that prices instantly reflect even hidden or insider information. So let's look at weak form efficiency a bit more. In weak form efficiency, future prices cannot be predicted by analyzing prices from the past. Excess returns cannot be earned in the long run by using investment strategies based on historical share prices or other historical data. Technical analysis techniques will not be able to consistently produce excess returns, though some forms of fundamental analysis may still provide excess returns. Share prices exhibit no serial dependencies, meaning that there are no patterns to asset prices. This implies that future price movements are determined entirely by information not contained in the price series. Hence, prices must follow a random walk. So let's look at the semi-strong form efficiency. In this semi-strong form efficiency, it is implied that share prices adjust to publicly available new information very rapidly and in an unbiased fashion, such that no excess returns can be earned by trading on that information. Semi-strong form efficiency implies that neither fundamental analysis nor technical analysis techniques will be able to reliably produce excess returns. In strong form efficiency, share prices reflect all information, public and inside, and no one can earn excess returns. This implies that security analysts and portfolio managers who have more information than ordinary investors are not able to use it to earn more profits. So let's look at how, what this implies because of the efficiency market theory. Substantial evidence in favor of randomness suggests that technical analysis is of dubious value. Routine and conventional fundamental analysis is not of much help in identifying profitable courses of action. So the key levers for earning superior rates of return are early action on any new development, sensitivity to market imperfections and anomalies, use of original, unconventional and innovative modes of analysis, access to inside information and its sensible interpretation and an independent judgment that is not affected by market psychology. So let's look at some of the market's inefficiency. Some of them are overreactions of the market, reversal to the mean return, delayed absorption of new information, low price and earnings effect, 
small firm effect and the weekend effect. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to create a free DMAT account with Alice Blue, click the link in the description and fill out your details. You'll also get intraday recommendation calls and you can learn robot trading software for free.